<laughs> Say hello. Hey Cake Vlog fam and welcome back to the channel. If you are new, my name is Jade and I am a cake decorator representing the Tri-Island State of Grenada, Caracou and Pity Martinique. I'm getting ready to go do some baking. Decided to take you guys along with me. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I would love to have you a part of the Cake Vlog family. Let me share with you my setup right now. So I have all of the ingredients out. I'm going to go ahead and do the measurements. Let's see how much we can get done. So I'm doing two recipes. One is a fruit cake and the other is a vanilla cake. It's a cherry cake, but I'm using a vanilla cake recipe and I'll add the cherries. Okay, I think I'm going to do the fruit cake first. I ordered some eggs this morning. This is the last I had from the batch before. I ordered some more, so I got it earlier today. All right, let me grab my recipe. It's going to be a big mix. So I need approximately 18 pounds of batter. Do you guys normally do that? You know exactly how much batter you need for your cake so that you don't have too much excess. My recipe gives me about six pounds of batter, 18 pounds. So it means I would have to triple my recipe. So I need three pounds of butter. I need to take out another butter. I'm going to weigh out all the ingredients and then go ahead and mix. Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Always greatly appreciated. Hope you're having a great day so far and if you have any baking to do, here is some motivation. Which part of the world are you guys looking from? Feel free to leave a comment down below. I always like interacting with you guys. So as I mentioned, the cake is going to be for a wedding that I did last year, 2020, and I'm so excited to take you guys along with me so you can see how it turned out. I started off with the fruit cake, so I measured the butter, now I'm doing the sugar. Comment below and let me know if you have a process that you follow whenever you're measuring ingredients. For example, I always start with the sugar and the butter. How about you guys? Do you do the same? missed the video I did when I blended the fruits you can go ahead and check it out I'll link it below what type of fruits do you like in your fruit cake and also let me know what type of liquor you normally soak your fruits in I got this recipe off of Google if I can find it I'll link it below for you guys. I've never done the traditional black cake. This is the one I've been doing ever since and I really like it. It's not as dense as the traditional black cake. It's a lighter, fruitier. <laughs> That's a nice texture. Okay, let me go wash these off because I'm going to need them for the next recipe.
it smells like liquor in here <laughs> smells like rum <laughs> okay so that's it for the fruit cake let me make sure i have everything so i did the fruits cinnamon nutmeg baking powder vanilla sugar flour eggs and butter let's cover everything because i'm not baking today i'm just prepping while i can while my son is taking his nap on the front this is some stuff I think I'll break this video into four parts. So part one is going to be weighing out all of the ingredients. Part two is going to be baking. Part three is going to be actually maybe about five parts because I have to make the decorations. So that's another part. And then assembling the cake. The final one would be the delivery and the setup. So I'll take you to the venue and show you how I would set up a wedding cake. So that should be fun. Stay tuned for that. This is something I do to be able to manage everything. I have to prep ahead of time and I would place this in the refrigerator until I'm ready to bake. Most likely that would be tomorrow. It's one teaspoon, so I'll need three teaspoons of vanilla. Yes, I'm doing it three times. This is finally finished. It lasted a good while. So back to the clear vanilla. Two and a little bit to make up the three. Alright, so let's put the eggs in the fridge. I'm going to place the cherry in the fridge. I chopped them up earlier this morning. Usually they come as rounded cherries and I would dice them with a knife. So I went ahead and diced these earlier today. I can put this away as well. So we did our eggs butter. I'll do the sugar next. I need three cups of sugar. One, two, a little less under a cup because cherries are sweet. All right guys, so it's giveaway time again. I recently made some cake truffles and I would like one of you to become the lucky winner. To become eligible, all you have to do is leave a comment under this video, head on over to my Instagram or Facebook page and share my last post to your status. Don't forget to tag me. Follow me on my Instagram or Facebook page for updates. I will leave the instructions to participate in the description bar below. Good luck guys. Here is an overview of all the ingredients in the refrigerator. Okay guys, so we have come to the end. Stay tuned to see the next video where we're gonna bake the cakes. If you enjoyed, pause for a moment. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new. As usual, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for always supporting. Remember, live your dreams and create the life that you want for yourself. Until next time, bye guys. See you in the next video. Say bye guys. Say hello. Say bye guys.